Good morning, everyone. Less than 48 hours to go until the polls open in Boston and other cities around Massachusetts for Municipal Election Day. And a quick reminder, uh, join me, expert local political analysts, and the entire WBZ News team this Tuesday, starting at 8 p.m., for complete election night coverage, results, speeches, the story behind the story, and some national political news as well. That's 8 o'clock Tuesday on CBSN Boston. Go to our website, cbsboston.com, and the live stream is right there. Joining us this morning to talk about the elections and other ongoing issues in Massachusetts politics is Jennifer Nassour of Boston. She was chair of the Massachusetts Republican Party from 2009 to 2011, is now host of the Political Contessa podcast and president and co-founder of the Pocketbook Project, a group that helps promote the candidacies of, quote, fiscally responsible female candidates for federal, state, and local offices, unquote. Jennifer, welcome. John, thanks for having me. Good to see you. So you're a resident of Boston. Who do you like in the mayor's race? Well, so for me, it's Anissa Asabi George. Uh, I think that she has the best vision for the city out of the two candidates. In full disclosure, I was with Andrea Campbell in the preliminary, but my second pick was Anissa. Um, I'm also a fan of ranked choice voting, so I think if there was ranked choice voting, we would see a much different slate up there. Um, but you know what? What I see right now is. You have Michelle Wu, who is just playing all the way to the left. She's out there. She's talking about issues that she, as mayor, would have no control over. So the rent control issue would need to go to the legislature. The free tea would need to go to the legislature. Those aren't things that the mayor has full control over, nor does the city council. And so what I want to see in a mayor is a mayor who actually has a grasp of what they can do for the city. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see economic development. Development. I would like to see schools in every downtown neighborhood. Every place in the city should have quality schools. Our kids should be getting a great education. And I think that that is what we would see out of Mayor Asabi George, not out of Michelle Wu. So in the meantime, uh, no one should ever not vote because of polls of any kind. I want to hasten to add, but uh, two of the city's best pollsters back to back found a 30-point lead for Michelle Wu. I noticed in the debate the other night, she's uh, ac accenting her time spent with Mayor Menino, who was most decidedly not a left leftist mayor in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if anything, it seems to me that Asibi George, fairly or not, was bogged down from the get-go by the fact of having some financial support from Trump supporters. You ran for the Boston City Council just a few years ago and didn't win, uh, although you did make the runoff. What uh, can you tell us about how the Republican brand is perceived within the city of Boston? It's a really unfair perception. I mean, you know, we, we saw this back when John Connolly and Marty Walsh were running, Absolutely. that John Connolly, who is a liberal Democrat, was tagged as a Republican because he had folks like me, quite honestly, supporting him. And so, you know, I think that Asabi George is running into the same issue right now, <clears throat> where she has support from some big Republicans, not that they were Trump supporters by any means, but for some reason now, having an R after our name as our party designation makes us all Trump supporters. I would like to see that go away because that is not very fair. What we need to start doing is we need to start looking at not who the people are supporting you, but what the candidate is going to do for all voters across the spectrum and not just for one pocket of the of the city and of the voters in the Commonwealth. All right. Well, on that note, let's take our break. And when we come back, let's talk about what's going on with the Massachusetts Republican Party these days with our guest, former uh, GOP state chair, Jennifer Nassour. So please stay with us.